On Friday evening, Hudson County TV spoke to a number of Union City and Jersey City residents who spoke about Washington Park on the border of Union City and Jersey City. For those that aren't aware, 39 trees are being cut down at the historic park in order to make way for a new regulation sized soccer field. Last year, Union City Mayor Brian Stack held a number of public meetings for residents to add suggestions, voice their displeasure, or just speak about their general feelings about the project. The residents that Hudson County TV spoke with were not thrilled with the meetings and were extremely upset about the construction. I come here every day with my dog and used to walk around this beautiful park. I have not been able to come to the park since they started this ridiculous project. It's the size and the scope of the project that I feel was out of control. Um, nobody, I don't think, in, in our groups or the neighborhood were against refurbishing this park. A smaller soccer field, like the ones they have in Hoboken, would have been more appropriate for the neighborhood. You know, there, you look, look at the traffic. Look at the traffic. Day and night we have more traffic around this area, and this is only going to make our neighborhood more congested, more pollution, and now we don't have any trees to t help filter that pollution, which is what trees do in an urban environment. There was another circus event up at one of the schools in Union City. It was a circus-like atmosphere in the room. Just making sure. It is my interpretation of, of what happened. With a nutshell, you're saying he held a meeting at one of the schools and he That's stacked correct. the room with supporters. That's absolutely what I'm meaning to say. Okay. Now, when you went to these kind of meetings and you suggested scaling down the final product here, what was the reaction from Mayor Stack, the commissioners, architects, etc.? Well, um, I would say it was surprising that they didn't even consider a smaller version of the plan. So when you pose these questions, what kind of answers would you get? Um, very vague answers to our questions. Mm -hmm. Very deflecting of a straightforward question. Okay. They were deflecting, not answering. I think, you know, this thing was uh, uh, planned and approved on many levels, uh, even before we were involved in it, you know, I think it was already, already a done deal, unfortunately, for our community. I think it's despicable and, and, and so short-sighted and stupid. Why this had to be taken down? We could have improved the field that was there and spent money on the, the smaller field. It's just—it's heartbreaking. Some of these streets are almost 100 years old. I live in the Doric, which is one block away. Mm -hmm. We're here out on the street. You see how much traffic and noise there is. Why making this bigger is going to improve the area. There's very little green space in Union City. I think it's an ugly city, actually. And, and you know, I, I'm very frustrated. It feels like, let's just give up. Let's just cover everything with AstroTurf and aluminum siding, because it's ugly already. There, there's nothing pretty in this town. And I was in attendance at the, the meeting she described as a circus. I described it as a pep rally. It's all Gung O'Brien filled with all the kids and their coaches. It was like a pep rally for this. There was a so-called public meeting held in Union City that uh, the mayor stacked, stacked the house, so to speak. Uh, everyone whose child plays at the school had to come out with the entire family. The children wore their uniforms. You know, and they were uh, instructed to basically shout down anyone who didn't agree with them, who got up to make a comment. It was a ridiculous experience. Mayor Stack, State Senator Stack, taking a lot of heat here, but how much blame do you put on uh, the former Jersey City Mayor, Jeremiah Healy? I think that the former mayor also deserves some blame as well as the former city council member. Um, our neighborhood has been really neglected and they didn't show up to any of the public meetings. So we basically had no representation. The councilman I mean is um, Councilman Gohan, who was our former oh, councilman. Oh, oh, oh. As I said to uh, another resident of Jersey City, Mayor Stack seems to be really uh, taking the brunt of the uh, public displeasure here. Well, he should. I mean, he's my 
nice senator, and he certainly didn't represent the interests of Jersey City. In fact, he trampled all over him. I was at a meeting in September. There's probably a hundred taxpayers, homeowners there, and to a man and to a woman, every single one said, we have problems with this design. And now you're seeing, you're seeing the bright sun, you're seeing the loud noise, you're seeing, you're feeling the heat, uh, and they're not even done yet. They're going to be cutting down the rest of these trees. But the only thing that we're going to have to show for it is this fence, because this park, which used to be accessible to anybody who wanted to walk through, is going to be surrounded by a fence like this afterwards, and nobody's going to get to go in there unless they're a part of the sports team on Union City. Mayor Healy isn't getting a lot of negative commentary. So I mean, do you put any of the blame on him or any of the Jersey City Council? It was shameful that our mayor wasn't there. I mean, he basically watched a square block of his own city that we had rights to just go up and smoke or under the, under the knife. I mean, he was too busy worried about his own re-election or something like that and knew that this was full of country and didn't bother to show up. You know, at least Fulop seems to know that Jersey City Heights exists. I don't know that Healy does. I don't understand why they had to tear down all these trees mm -hmm. that are hundreds of years old and great. You're going to plant new ones? Good. You should be planting new ones all the time anyway. No, but not because you're tearing down trees that have been around for a hundred years. Right. And when these trees are finally mature, none of us are going to be around to enjoy it. And I, know, I recognize that's not the point of it. I mean, children need a place to play. But I'm quite certain that there's something wrong with this field, with these fields. And that there's probably, if everybody looked a little harder, someplace else they could have built. Stone told Hudson County TV that a vigil will be held at Washington Park, located near the intersection of 2nd Street and Bergen Line Avenue, on Tuesday, July 2nd at 7.30 p.m. City spokesman Mark Albiez did not return an email or call seeking comment, while former Jersey City Mayor Jeremiah Healy could not be reached for comment. John Hyde is Hudson County TV. For more information, log on to HudsonCountyTV.com.